not safe to be out here. Not safe? Why, this town is the jewel of Svartalfin. There's nowhere safer, I assure you. No, uh, I merely seek a toy my son dropped. But no matter, he has more than enough at home. And I must get back. My wife will be wondering where I got to. Come, walk with me a moment. I shall introduce you to my boy. He's always wanted to meet an icy. Now, I understand your concern. We too have heard the moose bells are coming. But I failed to see what they could want in Svartalfheim. But they are already here, close by even. That is why I urge you to find shelter. <laughs> you, Asir. I have heard how you are famed for your sense of humor. Tell me, have you met Thor? We are very close, yes. My son, he loves nothing more than hearing of Thor's adventures. Perhaps you could spare us a tale, if you have time. Let's keep moving. Oh, yes, of course. Where are your people? My people? Why, all around us. Probably looking at us from their windows. But pay them no heed. It's not every day an acid. What is it? Forgive me, I, I must have forgotten your name. Keep calling you acid. Which feels quite rude of me. I have many names. My friends call me Javi. You may too. Oh. Thank you. Javi. A fine name. Let's get you home. Hmm? Oh. Yes. Yes. Here. My home is this next one. I must ask. Mind your step. <laughs> my wife only just potted the lovely plants this morning. And... Uh, and... Uh, do you... Do you see that? See what? Moose bells going into my home. No! What now? Now, where... Where is it? it? No. This toy hammer, is this? Mjolnir, yes. My son's pride and joy. Tell me, have you met Thor? Um, as I said, we are very close, yes. My son, he loves nothing more than hearing of Thor's adventures. Perhaps... perhaps you could spare us a tale, if you have time. He should... Uh, he should be here. Uh, any moment now, he should... be here. My friend, you must leave this place. It is not safe, and I think you may know that, yes? Not safe? Why, this town... this town... this town is the jewel of... Uh, You must listen to me. Your wife and child, they're not coming back here. No dwarf is coming back to this town. They're almost certainly dead. Everyone except you. The Muspels must have killed them all. There's no other explanation. You are... mistaken. Confused. Or cruel. I cannot tell which. I do not care which. Get out. Get out of my home. Look around you. There is no home. This... It's a grave. I said get out! Get out of here! I invite you in. Tell you of my... My son! My son! Where... Where is he? Where is my son? What are they? Where are they? You must leave this place before the Muspels find you too. Get out. Go. Very well. I'm sorry for what is worth.
which of these dwarves can help me find a suitable Jotun? Perhaps if I listen to that chatter, some fount of wisdom will reveal itself. Go away! Please! She will bear the brunt of her fury! She will regret yes. having ever followed her father! Yes. Come to humiliate us some more? Help me, and I'll compose your saga so exalted it will endure Ragnarok itself. But first, I need a name and a place. For what? For whom? The mightiest Jotun in all of Svartalfheim. We know the one. Right hand of Sutinger. Malviger. Here because of us. She is... worthwhile. Gave your son Vidar quite the beating once, didn't she? One day Vidar will make me proud. But why would Malviga care about you two? Premier and Lom aren't our real names. <laughs> Allow me to introduce... Fiala and Gala. The ones who killed... Sutinger's father. I heard something about him trying to outdrink a couple of dwarves. And after, befuddled, tripping and breaking his neck. <sighs> Sutinger wasn't happy. Held us responsible. But luckily we'd acquired some mead. Some special mead. And well, Sutinger is partial to a bit of mead. We bartered it in exchange for our lives. Except afterwards, some thieving twat went and stole it. Loki, most likely. It's always Loki. Whoever it was, Sutunga didn't catch them. So he decided to take it out on us instead. Sent Malviga to hunt us down. Been incognito ever since. Can't trust this lot not to sell us out. Still, she hasn't found us yet. She will. Malviga's dangerous prey. Even for you. But we can help balance the scales. Our old house, north of here. Sunk in a lake. Inside, upstairs on a table. You'll find a cup of great potency. Cup? You know, the cup. Oh yes, the cup. Has the power to do wonderful stuff. For instance... So, I bring you the cup, and then... We show you how to use it against Malviger. It's a deal. No one wants to hear us. What? But we're giant killers. They may try us with fire, but little do they know what.
the place. The old home of drama and law. Or whatever they're called. I should find a way inside. Looks like I'll be getting my toes wet. stolen it, assuming there was a cup in the first place. you'd be here. It's best to leave one of your enemies alive, so they can tell of your greatness. Everyone knows of my greatness. Perhaps there are one or two who have not yet heard? Just tell me where Malviger is. What... what's in it for me? I do not know, but I will tell you this. The longer you make me wait, the worse it will be. <sighs> Malviger is at the dam to the west. And now? Will you spare me? Until next we meet. <laughs> there will be no next. You can be sure of that. the worthy foe. 
Loki told me how she and Angerboda once came to blows. It did not go well for Angerboda. If the Salaka rejects Malviga, then it is a false tool. Sutter pins his hopes on a worthless toy. roved the land with freak the cool nights spent together beneath the stars 
She enjoyed the solitude as much as I, and the trouble and danger even more. And then came the war with the Vanya, taking Freya as my bride. It helped end that strife, but it ended many other things too. There is the dam, but this tempest, it is unnatural. Aid me, be my eyes. that by serving you up, I would show them mercy. Clearly a misapprehension on their part. Yet here I am, served up. If I were here for you, High One, I would have brought an army. No, Sutungar will have his vengeance. But not here. I know why you have come. I have a bone to pick with you. After what you did to my son, Vida, I must... Vidar put up an honorable fight. That is not what I heard. Do not believe the stories. Upon his return, too weak to stand, he squirmed like a worm caught in the sun. <laughs> you should have seen me. My acolytes had to carry me home on their backs. No. Your boy fought well. Is that why you spared his life? It is. But you aren't here to avenge Vidar's honor. You have come to steal my Hugar. And I intend to stop you. How do you know this? Esir, Jotun. You and Loki are both mad. And Hirokin is just as bad. And Thor is so stupid he might as well be mad. You spread chaos wherever you go. Yet, you are all known quantities to us. Surtur is not. He rarely emerges from Muspelheim, and when he does, he shares little with us. Thus, while here, I have sent my spies to learn what he plans, beyond wiping out the dwarves like he did the elves of Alvheim. What do you know of his plans? I know that he found a powerful elven relic, and that his minion, Calder, was tasked with finding the Hugaris necessary to sustain it. That Calder is now trapped within said relic, and that you would have me join him. I must trade the Salakar for my son. You. The one who almost killed Sutengar for his meat. We'll hand over a legendary relic, take your son and leave. Just like that. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Put your mania aside, Havi. Work with me. Together we will foil Surtur's ambitions. I cannot take the risk. With each breath, Baldur is a step closer to death. I was a parent once. But we must look beyond ourselves. For the good of all. We have spoken long enough. So... Should I prevail? I must adapt to something new for my own use. 
you are the greater one. But this is not the right result. Do what you came here to do. Get on with it, blind one. End my misery. Oh, Ymir. True, oh father. My body comes to you. Sent by the same ambassador who claimed your own. As for my Hooger, do not weep for me. I do not deserve this. No, you do not. to get me through. 